Here we have convex quadrilateral ABCD uh, with diagonal AC. Now what we know that the side BC equals to side CD and we also know the values of all the angles up to uh, value of x and we were asked to find that x. So uh, now what I'm gonna do is to give you a trigonometric solution to this problem and there's gonna be another video and I'm actually gonna go into details of pure geometrical solution. So here trigonometry. So first what we'll do, we'll find the angle B and angle D. Well, uh, we find angle B from triangle ABC since all the angles together give us 180 degrees. Angle B will be 180 minus sum of these two angles minus 4x. And in a similar way, we can find angle D, which is 180 minus sum of these two angles, which is 8x. Now what we're going to do is to invoke the law of sines. And to remind you, the law of sines says that in arbitrary triangle, sine of an angle divided by the opposite side is the same for all three angles of the triangle. So what we can do here, we can say that sine of this angle, 3x, divided by the opposite side, BC, is the same as the sine of this angle of B, which is 180 minus 4x, divided by the opposite side, AC. In a similar way, we can use law of sines for the triangle ADC. In this case, we'll take this angle 5x, we take sine of it, divided by the opposite side, CD, and that should be the same as sine of angle D, which is 180 minus 8x, divided by the side AC. So this is what you have here. And now notice that uh, both of these formulas has, have AC sitting here. And also they have BC and CD, which we know are the same, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna divide the top equation by the bottom one. If we do that, BC is gonna cancel CD and AC is gonna cancel itself. And all we have here is trigonometric equation, which we're gonna solve to find X, okay? The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this sine 180 minus something. Uh, using this formula, that sine of 180 minus something is simply sine of that something. So um, in the top, we're gonna to have that sine of 180 minus 4x is sine of 4x. At the bottom here, sine of 180 minus 8x will be sine of 8x. Okay, let's clean things up. Now we're going to multiply both side of this equation, left and right hand side, by sine 5x and sine 8x. We're going to get a formula like this. And the next thing we're going to do is we try to get rid of as many signs as we can. Well, uh, one thing to notice that we have sine of 8x here and sine of 4x here. Um, we can get sine of 4x from sine of 8x if we use the formula for the sine of double angle. That's the formula we have. What we're going to do, we're going to say z equals 4x in our case and expand and this is what we're going to get. So the sine of 8x is 2 times sine of 4x times cosine of 4x. Now we have a sine of 4x on both sides, which we can cancel out. We divide by sine of 4x, and we can do it because sine of 4x is not equal to zero. So this is a simplified formula. And now what we can do, we should think, um, one thing that comes to my mind is 
to look at this 2 sine of an angle times cosine of another angle. We can use a formula like this. Um, so in this case u will be 4x and v will be 3x and uh, if you apply this formula we get sine of 7x minus sine x equals sine of 5x. Again, clean things a little bit. Now let's swap sine of 5x and sine of x. We can do that. And the next thing, just remember this, difference of signs. So it's uh, 2 times cosine of, of half sum times sine of half difference. And if you apply that formula, we're going to get 2 cosine of 6x times sine of x. Okay. Now again, we see sine of x on both sides. Sine of x is not 0. We can get rid of it and get 2 cosine of 6x equals to 1 divided by 2, we get cosine of 6x equal to 1 half. Now what we need to do, we need to figure out what 6x is. Um, if it was a simple trigonometric equation, we would get infinite number of solutions in this case, but this is a geometric problem. So 6x lays in a certain range and because of that there is a limited number of solutions we can have. To see what kind of solutions we can have first let's look at this angle A. Big angle A, angle BAD is 3x plus 5x which is 8x and this 8x angle should be less than 180 degrees. If 8x is less than 180 degrees, 6x also less than 180 degrees. But if I'm looking at an angle, cosine of which is 1 half, and the angle lays between 0 and 180 degrees, there is only one solution, and that is 60 degrees. So 6x is 60 degrees, and x will be 10 degrees. The problem is solved.